I'm getting married. <laughs> I've literally already posted the proposal. I don't know if you've seen it already. He just honestly knocked it out of the park. I just can't even explain. <laughs> it kind of looks like it was planned or like i was expecting it but i honestly had no idea you're lying so today what i'm bringing to you on youtube is my wedding preparation video series so what i'm going to do is lots of just different videos and chats and things just all around my wedding so it is that kind of big fat indian wedding you know that typical huge one yeah i guess i would have liked it to be smaller i'll come on to that but here we are and so here i am in the planning phase and hopefully you'll come along with me right just for some background then so i've been with my fiance now for about nearly four and a half years so we did actually get engaged back in april but we actually started wedding planning in january which is probably a bit odd so this is actually the first video about my wedding series so it actually sounds a bit weird saying because I'm technically not engaged yet. I'm actually filming this a lot earlier than I'm planning to release this onto YouTube. So the reason being is, yeah, it's January 2022 and we're planning to get married next August. And we really wouldn't have started any of this kind of like planning or, you know, like booking things now. But people we've been speaking to because of COVID and stuff, apparently it's just really hard to book and apparently things are already getting booked up even into april next year i'm just really excited that now we can properly properly plan do you know what that's a lie like planning is stressful planning is so so stressful there's so many ups and downs what i found as well is sometimes you might be in the mood to plan other people aren't or it's just yeah it, it's a lot so anyway back early we did decide on getting married next august so august 2023 and to be honest i did kind of initially want june but the way that it worked out with kind of my work busy season so i do work in audit if you're interested but the way it worked with busy seasons and then you know kind of summer holidays for everyone else and things it did just work out best to be in august so one of the main deciders on the weekend that it was, it was actually based on the Godwara, so my temple. We've already actually booked the temple date, so it'll be next year, August. And I guess that wasn't that difficult because it's the temple that I've literally grown up in all my life and I just couldn't imagine it being anywhere else. And um, yeah, my grandma, I'd literally always see her there. And yeah, there's, it was just no question. It would definitely be that one. So we've got the dates in. We were actually due to get married the weekend after based on when we initially booked the temple. But because of my partner's close cousin's wedding on his other side, we did have to move it to the week earlier, but it was fine. It didn't really impact anything at all. And then we also actually got the reception locked in. So my boyfriend and I, we have just booked our hall. He's given us this like really nice bag. Um, with a few things in there so i'm just going to show you what they've given us also then this um body lotion and pillow spray so it looks quite nice and i think the pillow spray is something that my boyfriend's really looking forward to using he's never used so, this yeah that'll probably get used up quite quickly and then there is also two stress balls so i think yeah probably 100 percent going to be needed for each of us i bet so do you know what for this planning series I did really think I'd, you know, go into details each video for like, say, venue, cake, etc. But do you know what? The way it worked with the venues is I actually haven't even been, I haven't seen it, but we have put a deposit down. So I say I haven't seen it. I mean, I've been to a wedding there before and I knew that I did love that venue. So it's not completely like I have no idea. Things that we need to be aware of with venues, like sound limiters, that, forget it. I'll be honest, at the very start of this wedding planning, like my fiance, he's done a lot of it. <laughs> But I guess now I am getting better and you will see that, I hope. <laughs> so the key thing I mentioned with wedding planning and what I found is that it's so important straight away from the very get go to know how many invites you're going to have. So, you know, kind of a rough estimate of the number of people. One thing I will say is straight away, just get your guest list together. So, you know, grab your mom, grab your dad, tell them both, like, sit down with me and let's just put a list together. And also the same for, you know, your partner's side because literally, so initially we were like, yeah, yeah, you know, 350, 400 max, you know, I want to keep it small. 
and yeah that is small for an Indian wedding or I guess pretty average or on the smaller side but yeah I was like yeah you know we'll be able to keep it smaller but yeah didn't happen put the list together mine's probably easily going to be 250 if not more his side probably yeah 250 300 um so yeah fat fat wedding so with the venues then where i started off i actually wanted it to be more intimate i was looking at smaller ones and things and i guess that's a bit of wasted time because get your invite list together and you'll find out straight away what's feasible or not so what I actually did want, I wanted something that was like quite airy and nice and like, you know, a lot of open natural lighting, but you can't really get that for the numbers that we're looking at. And so this hall, the one that we booked, it's the only one that I knew that it was potentially where I'd want to get married if it couldn't be how I wanted it, like more intimate and things. We actually even got the DJ sorted. Your DJ is important. They do get booked up actually really quickly. So my fiance knew exactly who we wanted. So we went and booked him. And then the other thing is actually your photography and videography. Honestly, their package is so good. There's lots of add-ons. And of course, they're really, really reputable, which helps. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much sold on them. I can't lie. I feel like so far, I haven't really given much away in terms of who or what. And I think I will share a lot of things afterwards in terms of like pricing and who my vendors were and things. But just later on down the line, when things are a lot more finalised, I mean, even though we've paid deposits, I guess, it's probably better once you've seen it is how I think about it. So make sure you do subscribe because I will just be sharing like a lot more. We did, we got them booked in as well. So all the dates, everything is secured. And it's honestly just crazy because this is next August and we were looking nearly a year and a half in advance. I think COVID did definitely have an impact on that. But yeah, we were looking very far in advance and people were already booked for that same weekend by the videographer and photographer. So luckily... They do quite a few weddings, so it was okay, and they could fit us in. But yeah, you do just need to be really careful. So that was everything that we had before we were actually officially engaged, which is, yeah, a bit crazy. Yeah, then other things that we got booked earlier on, it's the door players. So I found with these things, a lot of things that we've booked so far, either through recommendations or already kind of knowing the suppliers and stuff. So that's the way it's worked out for me, which is why it isn't really feasible for me to kind of do videos on each kind of booking what i will definitely be doing though a specific video on is my wedding dress also won't really release that until you know after i've worn it because <laughs> don't want any like spoilers um yeah i mean it's not that big but no it is a big deal it is a big deal it's literally a wedding and it's the wedding dress and I just have no idea what anything's going to be like. So notice I said dress, I will give that spoiler away. So on the temple day, so at the Godwara, I will have the traditional Indian lenga. But for the reception, I am honestly just doing something that I think in theory is quite different. I'm really excited about it. And actually today, me and my sister and maybe a couple others, we are actually going to go abroad in Europe. And we're going to go to this dress designer who I've been speaking to. And hopefully I'm going to get it all drawn up. And I'm just honestly so excited. I'm about to book my flights to... Like, I can't even lie. I'm actually buzzing for this. I hope it turns out how I want. Although, I've got so many ideas. But yeah, that is just a completely different video. So do make sure to subscribe. Because that's one that you don't want to miss if you're interested in wedding dresses. So to give you an update on where I actually am then. And I did, I wrote this out at my cousin. So we just went and kind of fleshed it all out. The things that I've done more recently. And again, I'm still just under a year out. And next August is so busy. It's just prime wedding season for Indians. So my pre-party, I had to, you know, get that all booked up and slotted in. So I've got that sorted now. And you know what? You might be thinking, how many events are there? <laughs> well, if you don't know, there's just a lot it's crazy like i am having and i am planning to have a whole week long of parties so whether it's at the house whether it's at venues whether it's at like wherever i am i'm partying that whole week so yeah it should be good other things i've booked i've booked mendy so you know your henna where you kind of have like patterns and stuff on your hand so i've booked my own and i've also booked the guest henna so that's all ready as well for next year i have had to keep going back and kind of tweak timings and stuff and I found with a lot of things, you don't actually need to confirm kind of final timings or final numbers and things until a lot closer, which is helpful. But yeah, for pretty much everything I've listed so far as well, I have had to put deposits on. I've also done, okay, makeup. So I'm not really, I don't know if you know this, I'm not that big into makeup, but recently, and um, when I found out I was getting married and of course started looking into it, I did kind of find artists that I liked. 
So the one that I did like, she actually wasn't available on the temple, so I had to get somebody else who was also actually really good. And she does hair and makeup, so that was sorted. But then my makeup for the reception, that, okay, that was sorted because I got the one that I wanted. But then where was a gap is my hair. So actually today I should be putting my deposit down for my hair. So now the only other thing is the juggle night. So that's the pre-party. And again, I've kind of decided I'm going to go for the traditional look, I think, where it's kind of just not really much makeup at all. And so I think the only thing that I probably need to sort out is my hair again. But what you'll find is just as soon as you put the word bridal in front of any kind of hair or makeup, the price does just shoot up. So yeah, I'm kind of taking my time with this one and seeing where I can kind of get good value for money, perhaps. And then finally, the other big thing that I've done is booking my tent. So you might be thinking, okay, tent, whatever, but no, it's not whatever. What I've also found is that you can just get so many opinions when you're planning. Anyone else think that they're like, you know, doing something well, and then you go and tell people and they're like, what the hell are you doing? That is me with my whole wedding planning. So my tent, Okay, it's not a cheap tent. It is about two grand for the week. That is a price I'll give away. And some of you are probably gasping like, what the hell? But honestly, it is a nice tent and I hope that you get to see that. But yeah, I told some of my family members and they were like, what the hell are you doing? Like, why would you pay that much for a tent? Like ours was this amount, ours was like even half the price. What are you doing? And then I guess from this, I've literally had like, honestly, three hour long conversations with my sister about what to, what to do about this tent. And um, in the end, I decided this is the tent that I want. I do want to have that really nice look. It'll have a lot of pictures in there, a lot of parties, and it'll just be a really nice vibe. So I've thought, you know what, I'm just going to stick. I think as well, it's important not to be afraid to kind of change things after it's done. But me personally i feel like once i put the deposit down i am pretty much just set on it so yeah i've just left it it's fine so you might be thinking wow jag like you've got so much sorted you're chilling for next year well no because what i've got here is my priority list of all the other things that i still need to do that are pretty urgent so i'm having a party on the wednesday so i need a dj for that of course i need to sort out all of my outfits for you know the whole week and then what's actually really important and pressing is actually the Juni and Gamai ceremony. So this again is part of the Sikh tradition. Yeah, that's something else that needs sorting. And I don't actually know if many of you have actually heard of wedding insurance, but that's a thing and that's something that I'll hopefully be sorting out. And then yeah, there's loads more to come. Invitations, cakes, you know, jewellery, alcohol, and there'll have to be a lot of that, especially for that many people to cater for. So yeah, that's going to be a big expense. And then yeah, I'm also doing a bit of an extra thing. So you know, I want a chocolate fountain and yes, it might be dated, but I want it. So I'm gonna just go for it. Yeah, there's honestly just so much more to come. I feel like I wanna kind of design things myself, try new things, but it is also very time consuming. So I'm just gonna have to see where I go. So other things I'm looking into as well, it's my honeymoon and my hen do. So my hen do, I'm so excited. I'm doing two, so one with my cousins and one more so with my friends. And that one will be Las Vegas and I'm so excited. That should be honestly just so good. I've just thought about it all my life. So yeah, love that for me. And then um, yeah, the honeymoon. That I think as well, I should really get around to looking at that soon. I think we are kind of thinking the Maldives, but I feel like the Maldives in Singapore maybe. Please drop suggestions below if you have any. I would love to hear them. But yeah, so far, do you know what? A lot of discussions, a lot of family discussions. I've decided the colours for my temple that my family are going to wear and just you know, the little kind of details and things as well I have started to think about, but I guess that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. So anyway, if you did find this video interesting, helpful, insightful, whatever, do give me a like. It will be much appreciated. Any comments or any recommendations, please drop them in the comment box below. I would love to read those or, you know, respond to any questions. And then finally, as always, I will be back with more videos every single week. So do make sure to subscribe and hopefully you'll see me again soon. Thanks.